Hey, what's up, Masters? Welcome to another episode of Path to Mastery. And as usual, we are bringing you a special treat. And listen, this is a little beyond special because every year at Family Reunion, that's our KW large event, we get together this year with 16,000 agents. And I found you for this episode, some of the most talented leaders and agents in the company. And I'm super excited that we were able to spend a little bit of time with Josh Team, who is the CEO of Keller Williams. He's gonna share his philosophy on the industry and where things are going. Jay Papazan, right? Author of the One Thing book, Gary Keller, Millionaire Real Estate, all those awesome books. Nick Baldwin, who's also a rock star. Jeff Woods, also a rock star, right? Uh, host of the One Thing podcast. By the way, I would check out that podcast if you haven't yet. Aaron Kaufman, I, Aaron always seems to somehow get on the podcast <laughs> at these events. I just, we just always run into each other. Good guy. Uh, Mike Dooley, uh, just absolute rock star, massive producer at KW. Bobby Motes, who is very involved with our technology and technology training and creation and all that good stuff. So Bobby is definitely someone you want to be listening to. Jonathan Dupree, uh, absolute rock star. Congrats, Jonathan, by the way, just became the regional director for uh, the Texas area. I'm not exactly sure which area, but I know he just became regional director. So congratulations on that, Jonathan. That is absolutely awesome. And finally, Adam, who uh, is uh, an awesome team leader in our company. And Adam just said hi and he recognized me from the podcast. And I love when that happens. Uh, it just, you know, that really helps me to keep doing this. You know, this has been going on for over three years. And when people acknowledge and, and say, hey, I, I love the podcast, it just kind of helps to keep things going. Because to be honest with you, it's 648 on a Friday afternoon or Friday evening right now. I'm at my office recording this intro because I need to get it to my guy tomorrow in order for it to come out on Monday. So anyway, yeah, I'm not complaining i'm just telling you that's uh those are the types of things that uh, keep us motivated and obviously still in the office because um, i'm motivated so anyway it's all good i'm excited to share those with you uh please check out our sponsors they also help us continue to keep the podcast going vulcan 7 right if you need data if you need expired fizzbos a great dialer crm system everything is there you can try them out for two weeks the full suite of services everything you get everything access to the dialer everything you want for just $49 if you go to vulcan7.com forward slash path to mastery try them out two weeks 49 bucks free books listen get yourself a free book you can go davidsfreebook.com right check out the one thing book if you like check out the millionaire real estate agent and check out Jocko Willing's book whatever you choose just about every book is on audible and if you don't have an account yet you can get yourself a free book but you have to sign up for an audible account but your first book is free okay and if you don't want to continue then you you don't pay anything anyway so it is free really free all right and that said my friends listen i want to get you into this finally you know health and nutrition is number one to me i've been getting back into a lot more nutrition just my first triathlon yay i, I didn't do it i actually hosted it i did it too and uh, I came in fifth overall. I'm super pumped for that. Yes, if it was age group, I think I would have been first or second. But that said, more importantly, is um, the products I use. Advocare products for vitamin supplements, fish oil, joint supplement, energy, all that stuff. Tremendous products. And here's the cool thing. I, I went to our site and did not even realize this, but Patrick Mahomes is featured on our site as uh, somebody that's using the products. How cool is that? I mean, I couldn't ask for a, a better person to endorse the products that I'm using. So check it out. LiveLongerSmarter.com is the site where you can get access to all of the products. Check them out. Let me know what you think. LiveLongerSmarter.com. My friends, listen, you absolutely rock. And I'm not kidding. If, if nobody's told you this today, I want to I wanna tell you right now that you rock and enjoy this episode and then just have a, a fantastic rest of your day and, and reach out to me if i can do anything for you reach out to me I'll help you any way i can thank you thanks for listening hey guys i am with uh mr the one and only josh team what's up josh how's it going man it's going awesome and uh listen i just say i want to appreciate you doing this of course taking a couple minutes so you know the last two years i've been talking to everybody about Hey, how do you stay relevant as this industry is changing so much? And the last couple of years, it's been consistent. Stay in touch with your clients. Stay in front of your clients. 
what would you say this year, or is it exactly the same? It's actually the same. The name of the game hasn't changed. The difference, I think, is like any sport. So in basketball, the goal is still to score more points than everyone else. But we're introducing three-point shots. We're introducing the dunk. We're introducing the pick and roll. So the strategy and how to score those points is what's changing. And the way you stay relevant is like Bill Belichick in football or, you know, the Lakers on their spree or whoever that is, it's to be the change. Mm -hmm. To come up with the new strategies that help you score more points, or in this case, be in relationship at a deeper level, a more hyper-local way, one-to-one. And that's our strategy. That's our philosophy. I love that. What, what, I mean, what excites you right now about what's happening? Oh, man. Well, A, Keller Williams is amazing. Uh, so being here in Dallas, a family reunion with, you know, 16,000 plus of our closest friends and family, it's hard not to be excited. Mm-hmm. But last year, when we look around the industry and we see all the, the large incumbents, either yeah. we're flat or went backwards, and we're the only one that grew, starting from number one and just getting stronger in that position, it's exciting. Yeah. It's an exciting time for us. It's uh, it's fun, and I mean the energy here and all around Keller Williams right now is just um, it's a really it. cool place yeah, to be. You feel it, man. It's yeah. awesome. Yes. Congratulations, man. You're doing fantastic. Oh, you're kind. Well, this last question for you is, you know, as an agent, what questions should an agent be asking right now? An agent should look up, and we started this journey about four years ago, and we realized that. In competitive markets with lots of change, everyone has to up their game. Everyone has to create more value. Agents are feeling that with their consumers. Brokerages and franchises are feeling that with with the agent community. And that's why we started doing things like building the technology, um, by offering a free mortgage, by reinventing our MAPS coaching program. Uh, Everything we're doing is, is try to add more value to agents so we can help them grow. And I would ask any agent anywhere, you know, really look around and say, you know, what's the value I'm getting where I'm at? And making sure that those values are aligning to helping you build the business you want and the life you want to live. Tremendous, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Here with Nick Baldwin. What's up, Nick? Hey, what is going on? Dude, some people just came up to us and said, your session changed their life. Dude, what t- what is your session about? So I just did a breakout session with Cody Gibson called Command Your Lead Generation. And first of all, doing a breakout session with Cody Gibson is basically another check off my bucket list. Um, But it was a lot of fun. And he's a super great guy. And he's great at telling amazing stories. And so his stories mixed with strategy. Yeah, there's a bus here. (laughs) So I'm big on strategy and he's great on getting people motivated. And so I think that both of us made a good combination. So what was the session on? Like, what, yeah, it was, was about it? understanding how to use command, no matter what your business looks like. Yeah. Because I firmly believe that we've been teaching it wrong. We're trying to get 100% adoption on command when we need to be getting 100% adoption based on an agent's business model. So an agent shouldn't be using every single feature. They should be using the features that matter to them in their business, but instead we're focusing on, you gotta use it, you gotta use it, you gotta use it, but we're not giving them a reason why. We're not showing them out. So this is tech inside KW. What about the industry itself? What's the biggest change tech-wise coming to this industry that our listeners need to understand? They need to understand that there are disruptors out there coming after their clients, and those disruptors have business models that work, and KW is aligning their agents with not the same business model, but the same business model in the sense that we're designing our consumer experience to mimic consumer experiences that of Realtor.com and Zillow and Redfin, and that's on purpose. So agents need to stop thinking about what works for them and start thinking about what works for the customer, and that's what KW is doing. Love it, man. Well, thanks for your time, brother. All right, we're back to you from Family Reunion 2020 with Jeff Woods from the one thing podcast what's up my friend living the dream my friend living the dream yeah you guys are killing it on that podcast huh it's been good it's been good it keeps growing it's in the top five percent of the world now wow really i didn't realize it was that big that's awesome congratulations thank you fantastic job we've been the last couple years at this event talking about to agents or talking to the top people and how do you stay relevant um in the last two years it's consistently been staying in touch with the people you know in front of your database your sphere of influence has that changed or what are people doing now to stay relevant I don't think it's about learning something new. It's remembering what's true. Yeah. And I think really what it comes down to is time. You know, it's people's greatest resource, yet 
Yeah. I think most people don't realize they're spending it and they're not investing it. Yeah. And I think the opportunity for people is to be really clear on what are the things that I can do today with my time that if I did that would truly give me a great return on my investment and help me achieve something extraordinary by the end of the year. I love that. What, what excites you right now about all the changes in the industry? You know, I, I love the tech focus and I think more than ever it's simplicity. I think it it's easy to get distracted by the new shiny objects, yeah. yet the basic blocking and tackling of are you recruiting talent? Are you driving leads? Are you providing a great service to your clients? Yeah. And ensuring that your time lines up with that. That's it. Awesome, my friend. And your podcast again for everybody. They need to check yep. it out. Is... The One Thing Podcast. I love it. Thank you, man. Thanks for your time. Hey, guys. I got a special guest for you right now. I'm here with Jay Papazan. What's up, Jay? Hey, man. It's good to see you. Always happy to run into you. Yeah, man. Well, thank you. And good to see you. And you were actually one of my first... Uh, interviews if you guys go way back to maybe the first 10 episodes you were there so thank you for that we were talking you, about the one thing i think back then yeah and you're still doing the one thing right Talk, yeah still what are you doing here it. talk to us about what you're up to here with this booth so this is the kwu team so we're really trying to ask the question for adult learners what's next so like the biggest thing i'm excited about solving this year is when there's no witnesses right you don't actually have people in a classroom about 75 percent of adult learners drop out so they sign up for these online classes and they want to do this distance learning. So we're yeah. trying to solve that problem this year. We're okay. trying to figure out how we can create tribes so and accountability. So you're saying they sign up, but then they don't show up? Is that This is across all industries. Okay. So adult learners, right? Yeah. When things get hard and yeah. there's no witnesses. They need accountability. That's right. They need accountability or they need support, a community. Yeah. Okay. So you need someone to say, David. I missed you last week at our virtual script session or yeah, whatever yeah, that yeah. was. And we're trying to kind of build some of that into our learning platform because we know that there's lots of agents out there that maybe they're a working mom and they can't make it to the training room every day. So they're going to have to learn real estate. They're going to have to do it from home or maybe at night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They need a cohort. They need a tribe that they can support each other. So we're trying to build that in and work with our MAPS coaches to also bring some more support to that. I love that, man. That's yeah. awesome. I have to get more involved in that, to be honest with you. Yeah, so, just trying to solve a problem. I you know. know. Um, final question, man. What excites you? So many changes happening, disruption. What excites you about real estate these days? Well, the platform wars are in full right gear. Yeah. And everybody is kind of picking their path, and it's nice. I'm not going to say that some would say we're ahead, but I'm just like, I'm happy to know that we're not behind. I feel like yeah. we're in a very competitive place. Our agents are protected. Yeah. And I think we're launching some really cool stuff that, you know, we can start really creating a whole new set of value proposition around tech. I don't think the human touch goes away. No doubt. Right? You've got to be able to look someone yeah. in the eyes and build trust and rapport, or you're not going to be able to sell real estate in the near future at the very least, right? Yeah. That's this. That's this our world. All, well, that's the fundamentals, right? Yeah. It's always been that way. But you also can't ignore that you can amplify everything you're doing through technology. I mean, you're talking about your podcast. Yeah. You've amplified your reach by using a new medium, and that's a great way to build an audience and, you know, extend your impact. So that's what we're trying to do with our agents. By the way, I love the podcast. Think like a CEO, fantastic. Yeah, it's been fun. Oh, yeah. What a great ride to be on with Gary. It's like, that guy is like, boom, you're in the top 100. You're like, what? How did that happen? That's no Gary. Joke. Yeah. No joke. All right, my family. It's awesome to see you and thank you. Thank you. Thanks for all you did. Absolutely. Hey, we're coming back to you live from Family Reunion, and I just met Adam Gunsenhaus. That's right. right. You got it. Dude, thanks for saying hi and thanks for. Yeah. You know, knowing me from the podcast, that's ultimately what helps me continue to going with it and doing yeah. it. I yeah, mean, we're going on three years, and it's thank that, you. It's that voice, too. It's that accent. You know, well, you got, thank it's you. very drawn, very appealing. Well, I appreciate that, yep. man. So, uh, <laughs> you said that, now here you are. Yep. Talk to us. What are you seeing? So many changes happening in the industry. Yep. Disruption. What are you, what are you guys doing to stay relevant? You're a team leader. Yes. So what are your agents doing to stay relevant now? Yeah, so there's two things. Number one, we always have to constantly remind people why we're an organization. Yeah. That's number one. You know, we don't want people to get derailed on, on why they're really here. You know, we're driven by a big why with what Gary Keller has. Sure. So that's always number one. Number two is what's going on with tech. Right? Yeah. We always have to make sure that people understand where the tech disruption is happening. It's always happening, well, right now, 
it's happening with these external technology companies getting in the way of our well, services. They're trying to, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they're yeah. certainly making and, an effort. So that's that, for sure. That's one way, and then it's in the future as far as people understanding and the agents understanding what the race is. And the race is which company is going to be the first company to design an end to end consumer transaction, right? Yeah. Amazon has already inspired the fourth industrial revolution. They've said, hey, the consumer wants to transact online. Wow. So the power of Keller Williams is we're an agent centric company. Sounds about right. And we have a, a leader in Gary Keller who answers to the real estate agents and is going to build the best technology for that agent. So it's great to align yourself with an agent-centric company that's just going to combat that's awesome. against those. Yeah. How long have you been a team leader, Adam? Two weeks. Oh, my God. Two weeks. I've been in production. So I, yeah. I, so I, I, two weeks, uh, but I've I been gonna, in. I was going to ask you your closing yeah. line or your – but uh, well, what's the value yeah. prop? Why would somebody join your market center? Someone should join my market center because – I was in real estate production before this. I gave up real estate sales because I fully believe in the Keller Williams product more than I do as myself as a real estate agent. I was in sales since 2015, was on a mega agent team as a buyer's agent. Um, I dropped sales just because I have a lot to give for the real estate agent. I do think we're the best brokerage for agents to build quality of life. So it's all mouth to serve, man. Well, I love it, yeah. my friend. I can yeah. sense that that's what you like to do. So, right. uh, congrats on your new role, man. And right. I appreciate you saying hi, man. Yeah, see, absolutely. David. See what yeah. happens when you say hi yeah. to me at an event. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> all yeah. right. Hey, masters, listen. We're gonna get you right back to the show. I appreciate you. Just want to tell you about our sponsors, Vulcan Seven. Listen, they've been supporting us for a long time tremendous service they offer with for sale by owners expired data they've got a built-in system with your dialer your calendar system which will send you reminders you can use it as a crm everything you need to be successful with for sale by owners and expired as well as they have their own training weekly calls webinars every like i said everything you need to be successful vulcan7.com forward slash path to mastery right now as a listener to path to mastery is a special you can get their system, try out everything, guys. Full suite, two weeks for only $49. I don't know how you beat that. If after two weeks you're like, wow, this isn't the best thing I've ever used, then you cancel. And clearly you have all the information you've downloaded, so you have all that data. You can't go wrong. Check them out. It's tremendous. Another opportunity for you is a free a book, my friends, an audible book. I don't know who doesn't love a free book, right? So here's a great opportunity for you. Gary Keller's book, The One Thing a tremendous book. It's helped me with focus and being able to focus on one thing and saying no to all the other things that are not in alignment with my top priority. So check out the one thing. Just go to davidsfreebook.com. Again, davidsfreebook.com to get yourself a free book on Audible. And again, absolutely free. And finally, we have a brand new Facebook group. It's called Path to Mastery, right? What else would it be called? Just join our group. All you need to do is request access. I will get you in to the group. It's where I share all kinds of value. These podcasts are actually released early there. There's extra information in there regarding the podcast. I do a weekly webinar. I can't tell you I do it every week, but we do <laughs> We do training. So just, just a lot of value. My goal is to bring as much value as possible to the members of that group. So just join. All you need to do is go to Facebook and then search Path to Mastery and request access. We'll get you right into the group. My friends, listen, I appreciate it. And don't forget about Vulcan 7. Just go to Vulcan7.com forward slash Path to Mastery. My friends, enjoy the rest of the show. Hey, Masters, I'm coming back to you for Family Reunion. I'm here with Mr. Mike Dooley. What's up, Mike? Hey, hey, how's it going? It's going awesome. Love your uh, red jacket, the red sneakers. No trying, joke. Trying to keep up with you. Oh, man, I don't even have any. Well, I have a red badge. <laughs> there you go. So cool, man. Well, the last couple of years we've been doing this here from here, and everybody's been talking about uh, disruption and, and staying relevant, is staying in touch with your database, your sphere of influence. Has that changed, or to, what are you doing to stay relevant? I feel like I'm always behind sometimes, but just really not only looking at real estate, but looking at other tech companies. And I think that's been the difference, too, is looking at peripheral companies. What are they doing? What moves are they taking? How are they investing? Yeah. I'll tell you, for 2020, I'm doubling down because I'm seeing all the insights. Like mortgage rates are where they need to. Yeah. Unemployment's where it needs to be. So I'm doubling down on systems and on people. Okay to get things right so reading articles I read Inc. Magazine I can really, always huh? get an that's about like bettering myself sure awesome man yeah. oh look at this guy 
What's up, dude? How are you, man? Good. Bobby, what's going on? You want to say hi, man? He does. Yeah, hey, hi. Back to Mastery Podcast. <laughs> You're doing a little compilation. What, uh, what excites you about real estate these days? It excites me about real estate. Yeah. I mean, this uh, consumer experience that we're launching that's going to create this connection between the consumer and the agent is what's going to revolutionize the game, period. It's about to be a land grab. So if you're not on board with that consumer app, and making that the core of your real estate business, you're gonna be behind. Yeah. Period. Yeah. And it's gonna it's gonna create such a tight relationship. That stickiness that we're looking for with ourselves and our consumers is gonna be massive. And on top of that, if you're in leadership at Keller Williams, your agents are never going anywhere if they've got their database in this consumer experience. So leadership needs to be pushing it for their agents and providing solutions on how to make that possible. And agents need to be on it because it's only gonna grow our businesses. Period. Yeah, man. So yeah. you're all about the technology, obviously. Oh yeah. So what what questions should an agent be asking right now like with everything happening with all the tech changes there's a lot of stuff being presented to agents these days um, yeah and a lot of agents are afraid like they have this paralysis of like, I can't make the move because it's just too much I mean look at all these booths there's so much that Keller Williams is putting out the, the questions they need to be asking is what, what is the processes I'm trying to support and then find the technology to fit those processes don't just stay sold up in the, in the current systems that they have they need to look at the systems that Keller Williams is putting out there ask how can I make this consumer experience the, the center of everything and how can I build my processes around it using as much of Keller Williams tech as possible and if you have to go use other stuff too to tie it in go for it but you got to make that work around because that's going to be the game changer throughout 2020 how are you going to get yourself on that plane when it takes off because there's going to be a day here in the future where you're either on or you're not and it's going to be too late because your database is going to be gobbled up by somebody else no doubt and they're trying man the zillows are trying and uh, the red fins and the rest of them they're trying they are all right my friend well thanks for everything you do appreciate it no problem all right thanks for saying hi just to do it Sorry, my turn. My we, turn. We got. We got. Yeah. Into, okay. We got, uh, Back to my second question. Hi. How are you? There you go. Nice to meet you. Nice. Nice. And they're they have their. It's name, public so. knowledge. Yeah, you did a Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. They have their third. Oh, you don't know what sex it is though, do you? Okay. Yeah. Oh, you guys uh, do. They're gonna be their third. Third. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. How, you. how old are the other two? Seven and four. Seven and four. Good for you. Yeah. I have I have three, seven, and twenty-six. Oh my. Yeah. So I started over again. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> it's good though. Yeah. yeah. Well, congratulations. Is it more fun being a dad the second time or the first time. That's a hard question. Is it being? Yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. <laughs> it's every time, man. <laughs> Both times. <laughs> awesome. So anyway, I don't know what we were talking about, man. It was a great well, conversation. We're talking about researching and what question would a new real estate? What would they ask? Oh, or anything new about? or yeah, anybody? Yeah, any, anybody. Legion now with everything yeah. being thrown at them and, and yeah. this and that and tech and actually I would say doing. this there's a lot of distractions yeah. Yeah. so don't pay attention to the noise like do your business and the other pieces will come yeah. I think it's really easy even me to go oh do I need to focus on social media do I need to focus on tech yeah. just do business well and the other pieces will come together so like let the distractions let other people worry about the distractions you do business and do business well and then the other pieces will come no doubt yep. alright my friend well I appreciate Great it man. Man. thank you sure yeah right. awesome Hey, I'm here with Jonathan Dupree. Jonathan, what's up, brother? Hey, man. How are you? I'm doing awesome. I'm here at Family Reunion and uh, having a blast and, and connecting with lots of great leaders like yourself and just enjoying uh, being in the environment. I love it, man. I love your uh, name badge, man. It's, uh, it's it's just like mine. It just says the name and it's, That's it's, right. it's mysterious. That's right. We're the mystery people. Yeah. Well, it's going to be some announcements coming soon, so we're excited yeah. about that. That said, uh, obviously our industry is being uh, disrupted or trying to, trying to disrupt. The industry itself is. The last couple of years we've been talking to a lot of mega agents, top agents. They said you need to stay relevant. You need to stay in touch with your uh, sphere of influence to yeah. stay relevant. Is that still the same? Is that changed? What, what are you doing to stay relevant? Well, I, I think this whole conversation of organic growth versus disruptive growth, and it's not so much are you reaching your sphere or not reaching your sphere as much as it is are you being proactive or are you just sitting back and you're okay with what you've been getting and you think you're going to continue to get what you've been getting if you keep doing what you've been doing but the reality is that's not the case if you keep doing what you've been doing 
you're most likely going to get less than what you've been getting yeah. because of the fact that technology is disrupting everything and it's really important for people to stay on that that disruptive um, uh, climb. Does that make sense? It does, man. It's funny. Since you and I were out here for 10 minutes talking, there was nobody out here. All of a sudden, we start doing this and <laughs> everybody's out. Yeah. So what you're saying is there's a lot of complacency, right? That's right. Just, yeah, That's right. Uh, That's right. So what question should agents be asking that are listening to this when it comes to this industry? Like... How do I get back to the basics, master the basics, and implement them at the highest level possible? That's what's going to make an agent disruptive in the market to where they have more business than they can handle. Mm, awesome. Good. And what, what excites you, my friend? What's, what's exciting to you about all this? Oh, man. What excites me the most is just seeing the lives that are impacted and changed from people being open-minded uh, to getting back to the fundamentals and mastering it. Everyone thinks being disruptive means I got to do all this new stuff. And the reality is a lot of times we don't do the old stuff well. And, and when we master the fundamentals and layer on top of that innovative technology, that is the, the formula for being disruptive in your market and growing your business. And I'm excited about seeing all the lives changed. Amen. So, all right, my friend. Well, hey, appreciate you. you Thank you. It's good to, good to see you. Hey, we're here with Aaron Kaufman in the middle of this chaotic 15,000 people. Yeah, what's, what's up, up? What's up? Good to see you. Yeah, you too, man. And you said, I don't know if we'd hear each other, man. You talk loud, dog. I, I did, I do, but you can hear I'm a little raspy, man. I've been talking quite a bit the last, uh, you know, 72 hours here. Nice. Well, listen, I saw you last year. Last year you told us uh, people should be uh, getting in touch with their sphere of influence. Yep, yep. Stay relevant. What are you saying this year? I mean, look, it's all about uh, embracing technology. You do not have a choice. You're yeah. going to either embrace technology and become a tech-enabled agent, or you're going to find yourself as an employee of a web portal, right? You have two choices as an agent. Do you want to join an interdependent real estate company that is uh, building technology with their agents, or do you want to be a dependent agent who's relying on a uh, Wall Street back yeah, yeah. tech uh, to, to generate leads for you? I think you said the same exact thing last well, time. I probably do. I pretty much, I'm on a loop, man. I say the same thing no, all the time. Good. Yeah. So, what excites you, brother? What's I mean, I was really pumped to see Simon Sinek, yeah. you know, because he's my boy. I've heard a rumor he has the flu and might not be speaking today. But what I'll tell you I'm most excited about is uh, obviously we got our we got our consumer app rolling out soon. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, what I probably said to you last year was um, no offense to anybody, but I think a lot of the people in this company know that what we got coming out down the pipeline yeah. is the beginning of something special. As Gary Keller would say, there's no such thing as catch up, right? Yeah. Um, we're, the, we're the number one real estate company. We got the most agents, the most data. We're the first to the platform. We got the most users. And more importantly, David, we're a company of purpose, Yeah. right? We are yeah. driven by wanting to protect all agents from an industry that is trying to eliminate them. No doubt. All right, man. Well, hey, as always, it's a pleasure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I, every year, I think we say we got to get you down in the office. We yeah, you, you better. Office, you better. Go. Great to see you, man. Right. Always. Masters, I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for listening to this episode. You know, I get it. You're ready to move on. And real quick before you do, a couple opportunities for you. First off, I just want to, if you could give me a review, it helps tremendously for rankings as well as helping us get better guests, everything. It's just awesome. So if you could, wherever you listen to podcasts, if you're on iTunes, that's amazing. If you're using Android, wherever you listen, be phenomenal. I just really say I appreciate that. I just launched a brand new Facebook group. It's really excited to, to get this thing going. The uh, goal is every day bring inspirational stuff, videos, stuff that's not going to be accessible to everybody, certain trainings, opportunities, webinars, everything. So it's a free group, guys. Just go to Path to Mastery. Uh, search Path to Mastery on Facebook. You'll find a group. Request access, and I will get you in right away. I promise you. And books. I, I gosh, I talk about free books all the time. You you probably already heard me talk about free books a million times. And I know everybody loves a free book. So just go to davidsfreebook.com. 
on Audible, uh, right? Go to David Street Book, get yourself a copy of any of the authors that we've interviewed. I mean, why not get a free book? Uh, it, it's free. It's amazing. Uh, DavidStreetBook.com. And again, I just want to say thanks. And as you know, health and nutrition has always been number one for me. Just completed my first Ironman, guys. Lake Placid, 70.3 in the books. Uh, goal was break seven hours. Did it, 649. Next year, I'm breaking six hours, guaranteed. I'm happy. I did my first one. I cruised through. I followed my coach's plan and cruised through. And next year, I'm going all in. Anyway, the reason I'm sharing that is because I'm on Advocare products. I've been taking them for a long time. Uh, Tremendous health and nutrition products. If you're interested in learning about the products, go to livelongersmarter.com. Livelongersmarter.com. You can check out the products for energy, protein, health, nutrition, vitamins, anything you need is there. My friends, thank you, uh, and then please give us a review. You absolutely rock, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next episode. If you need anything from me, shoot me an email, david at davidihill.com, or if you like, call me, 774-314-1107. Thank you.